So how's uh, the new CT scanner an improvement on what can, the, what can be done previously? Well, the, the single biggest thing that we can do now is scan limbs standing. Previously, we've had to perform this under general anesthesia, which of course increases the risk to the patient. Um, now, what we can do is under sedation, both forelimbs and hind limbs, scan from in the forelimb, the carpus or the knee downwards, and in the hind limb from the hock downwards in the sedated patient very swiftly. So the diseases which can be diagnosed more effectively uh, with the CT scanner, well, they're numerous. Um, things that spring to mind are bone-related abnormalities where the detail provided by CT is vastly superior, certainly to x-ray, and with three dimensional other three-dimensional imaging like MRI where the slice thickness is greater. So we have more slices going through the limb, more likely to encounter the actual disease process. But also soft tissue injuries where we can use contrast enhancement to identify soft tissue injuries as well. So the new scanner supports equine welfare primarily by not requiring a general anaesthetic to view the lower limbs. Um, so we can diagnose more conditions more quickly, more effectively, more accurately, and therefore institute treatment uh, more rapidly, reducing convalescence time and improving welfare of our patients. A standing CT scan, um, when compared to a standing MRI scan, the most notable uh, couple of differences are the region that we can scan. So when we scan using MRI, we scan a very localized region, for example, just the foot, and then another scan would be the pastern, another scan would be the fetal. A scan of the uh, lower limb or using CT would include fetlock, pastern and foot in one scan. Um, the other thing which is vastly different is the speed. The speed which we can do a lower limb is around about 15 seconds for the scan, for one scan, whereas MRI just scanning a foot would take uh, 60 to uh, uh, 90 minutes for a single foot obviously we'd normally do both feet as well. So it's vastly quicker and the area we can scan is much greater. Okay, so this uh, particular example re really uh, shows how good CT is. Bear in mind this scan takes um, you know, a very short space of time, 15 seconds for the scan alone. But what we've done is we've injected contrast into the vascular tissue, so into the bloodstream, in order to be able to identify where there's increased blood flow. So this gives an indication of where we are on the leg here. I'm just gonna zoom in. Okay, and these three screens show the image in different planes. And what we're primarily looking at is this region just here. And this little light spot here, let me make it a little bit bigger, shows where there's increased blood flow in this particular ligament. And we can scroll up and down and see the length of the injury, but obviously see that that injury is still very active um, and really helps us to accurately, therefore, uh, diagnose and therefore treat most appropriately this particular injury. This was an injury in a very um, a structure in the past and called the straight dystosesmoidian ligament and we've been able to institute treatment effectively, effectively for this source in a timely fashion. Okay so this is the CT scanner itself um, and the difference between this and the, the previous one we've had is the CT scanner itself moves up and down and in and out. At the moment it's set up um, for a limb CT. So quite simply, the horse will put its leg onto, this, onto the platform here, with a little rope there just to keep it steady, and then it will rest its head, if it's a forelimb, on this little ledge here. It puts its leg on here, the scanner moves in and out, done, very simple. With the hind foot, literally the horse faces this way and puts its leg on like this, and again, the scanner moves in and out. It is purely that simple and it is, it is a wonderful machine and we love it.